Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video again, as we're gonna talk about what not to do when you are in VR, both when you're wearing a VR headset, but also what needs to change when promoting virtual reality, especially businesses, so coming right up. But first guys, do remember that we are giving away a brand new VR headset the HP Reverb G2 nonetheless to one of you lucky winners and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes and game keys worth $50 that you'll be able to redeem on your MetaQuest store or your Viport or Steam store and more. And also guys, down in the description below, there is the link to the giveaway of VR cover. You'll be able to go to the website and pick any item that you want worth up to 29 euros or 29 US dollars. Okay, so let's jump right into this uh, video today and by the way if you are new to the channel a big welcome to you and a huge welcome back of course to all our regular subscribers now the first thing that i'd like to talk about of course is businesses when they promote vr in their campaigns online and all this kind of stuff please 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 stop using these massacre images because this is killing our vr industry we're not this is super old, this kind of stuff like this here. You know, these headsets just simply don't exist anymore. This is not VR at all as to what it is today. You guys need to stop. In fact, Shutterstock and all these companies need to stop having these images on their website because it is friggling, killing our industry. As I mentioned before, we do not use these kinds of images anymore so this would be the first do not do in virtual reality in terms of things that you shouldn't be using anymore so please avoid this secondly parents please avoid putting your kids in virtual reality because you don't seem to understand i i understand of course from my point of view that you want your kids to be busy whilst you're you know doing certain things or you you want them to just occupy themselves but don't put them in any VR applications where there are strangers around, adults around. 90% uh, of people in VR or 95% of people in VR today, you need to understand that are adults all above 18 years old and then we have a little percentage of teenagers, uh, maybe 20% of teenagers, let's say, and then, you know, that's it. So the number of kids in VR is very small. And also, let's not forget that, you know, there are a ton of predators online and you know also these kind of games like this for example you know uh after the four vr you can't put your kids in something that is going to you know uh let, let me just put the after the four vr trailer okay here we go you can't put your kids in an application, in a VR application, which has zombies, where people are shooting at people, where, you know, there's blood around, there's all these kind of things. You guys don't know what your kids are doing. There's no safety for kids in VR at the moment. There's no way to know who's on the headset and there's no way for Meta or Facebook or Steam or anyone to be able to put measures in place where we can protect and know that it's a kid in there and stop the VR app the moment they know it's a kid. Also, for example, in apps like Population One, which is owned by Meta also, same thing. It doesn't look like the graphics, you know, are super, 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 super advanced. But at the end of the day, there is a lot of shooting involved. The, there is the psychology of having a gun pointed at you. A lot of parents who perhaps are not from the US do not own guns. Uh, we do not know what it's like to have a gun on us. So just be very aware that the moment you put a headset on, you are extremely immersed within this environment and it could potentially scare your child for the rest of the life. I am not kidding about this. So please stop putting kids in VR. And also it's killing it for us as a majority of adults and some teenagers having kids shouting and saying this and saying that. It makes us feel very uncomfortable to have kids around. I honestly 
most of us don't know how to react when there are kids around, um, you know, and, and it just doesn't make us want to play the game. It, it, you know, it just destroys the experience for us adults and teenagers as well. So if you're going to put them in VR, please stick to very easy, creative kind of stuff. No multiplayer things. Please just take your kids out of VR, full stop. Okay, the other thing is, Make sure that when you have your VR headset on your face, unless you're sitting down, always have your boundary turned on. Because if you do not have your boundary turned on, this is the kind of stuff that can happen. I mean, I know it's hilarious to look at, but you know, what if this person, when they jumped, you know, there was a, some, an object that was extremely uh, sharp. It could have cut them in the face or the arm or the body somehow. You know, I mean, it could be potentially very dangerous. I mean, look at that. I mean, her neck almost, I mean, look at this. I know, I know it could be quite funny, some of us, but there is a serious aspect to this. If you don't have your boundary on, you can literally break your neck with your VR headset on. I mean, let me just pause it here. I mean, this looks pretty, you know, I mean, this, this, this potentially could be quite fatal to someone if they break their neck. So just be very aware. Always have your boundary on when you're standing up. However, when you are sitting down, it's perfectly okay not to have your boundary. Um, but just make sure that your seat uh, is not maybe, uh, you know, right next to a wall or right next to a desk because you could still hit your desk or your wall. Just make sure the seat is away. If you're sitting down, it should be okay. But when you're standing up, please, please, please be safe in VR. Always have your boundary on. And then also, of course, um, always make sure that when you're in VR, sorry, I just transitioned a bit too early. When you're in VR, always make sure that you have your straps on also so that you can put your wrist or your arms inside of it and that if you drop your your controllers at least they always stay here or if you're throwing something then at least your controllers are not going to go flying and hit your tv and break your tv and all this kind of stuff at least it's here i mean of course if you're close to your tv you're, boom your tv's gone but i'm just saying right at least if you're away from it it won't you know go away so this is a bit of a bonus don't do this in vr kind of thing um, and then the next thing to do or not to do when you are in VR is if you buy a, 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 an HP Revamp G2, please get yourself a pair of Mammoth grips. You will not regret it. It's really horrible to try and throw things or to use things with these controllers with the HP Revamp G2. Unfortunately, even though it's a massively cool headset, when it comes to the controllers, Buy yourself a pair of Mammoth Grips and you can help the channel also, of course, by using the promotional code uh, VR Essentials so that we get a little kickback. I'm very sorry we can't give a discount because it's not available to us, but you know, at least you help the channel as well when you get these. This will really help you to have a much more immersed uh, experience when you have the HP Reverb G2 with you in VR and you're trying to throw things, this is a lifesaver because when you're trying to throw things without the actual grip, it's horrible. Oh man, I just can't tell you. This really makes a huge improvement, I can tell you right away. So get yourself a pair of Mammoth VR grips if you're going to buy the HP Reverb G2. Otherwise, don't do this in VR. <laughs> okay, the next thing not do in VR, please stay away from any VR headset where you have to put a mobile phone inside. It is not virtual reality. It is horrible VR. You're not going to get the sensation of VR. These things are equally expensive. They're massive to put on your head. They're heavy as hell as well. And they just do not provide the quality of VR that is available today. Please stay the hell away from these things. Sony just launched a few weeks ago, or a couple months ago, uh, something that goes with the Sony Xperia and you can slot the phone in. Just don't bother getting this piece of crap. I'm honestly to God, it is a piece of crap. There's no other way to explain it. Just don't do this in VR. It will give you a bad experience in VR. It's going to give a bad name to VR. You're just going to keep complaining about your VR experience. So just stay the hell away from these kind of VR headsets where you slot your phone inside. If, however, you're not very comfortable and you want to try VR a little bit first um, because you don't know where the six degrees of freedom, which is basically where you can bend in VR, run in VR, walk in VR, and do everything that you can do in the real world inside of VR, and you don't want to do that because you're not sure yet, 
very sorry for the noise outside, by the way, if you can hear it. Um, but basically, get yourself a three degrees of freedom headset. That is perfectly acceptable. It is perfectly good enough for viewing experiences, for feeling like you're immersed inside a VR. For example, the Vive Flow is a great headset to, to use inside a VR, of course, if you have a specific phone that is compatible with it. Uh, and if you don't have an iOS phone, because it's not, it doesn't work with uh, iOS, unfortunately. But there are solutions out there that are available, uh, which will allow you, so I'm just trying to flick somewhere, which will allow you to have a three degrees of freedom or a viewing experience, which is perfectly acceptable. You're gonna feel like you're immersed inside a VR. It's gonna give you a really good fun time. You know, it is as expensive as some VR headsets that are available today, for sure. But at least it's something you can have, it's portable, and also, um, you know, will just give you a good sensation and you won't complain about your experience in virtual reality. The next thing, the next don't do in VR, guys, do not get a crappy VR 360 camera. You just don't want to do this. Make sure that your VR 360 camera, if you're gonna buy a 360 camera, is at least, I would say, 8K, because anything under that, what happens in virtual reality compared to when you look at it, for example, on a mobile phone, it will dramatically enlarge the image inside of VR. And when you put your VR headset on, everything is gonna look quite blurry. So just please be aware of this because it's gonna, again, it's gonna kill your experience in VR. You're not gonna have a great time. Uh, you know, so just make sure that if you are gonna buy a camera, a VR 360 camera, don't buy this kind of crappy cameras. Buy a proper camera, invest a little bit more money in a good, decent 360 camera. Um, you can go and check out Hugh Ho's uh, YouTube channel. He talks all about 3D cameras and all that kind of stuff. And if you go to this channel, please leave a comment to say you came from VR Essentials. That'd be really, really awesome. Hey, VR Essentials, send me to your channel to check it out because Hugh Ho talks about a lot of really cool gear that you can use in VR. Okay, the other thing that you don't want to do in VR is buy this crappy My accessory. Is a motion. Do not buy any VR headset that requires or comes with what is called a NOLO, a NOLO tracking software. It is absolutely a bottomless pit of VR. It's supposed to give you a six degree of freedom experience, which basically means, again, as I said earlier, where you can use any kind of VR headset that is compatible, that is not three degrees of freedom, um, and then you can plug it on as an external third party, and it's supposed to give you the tracking where you can basically bend in VR, walk in VR, run in VR, um, you know, you can lie down in VR, you know, all these kind of things, the same sensations as you would in, uh, you know, in real life. It is a decent solution in the past when there really, really wasn't anything. But the NOLO tracker costs money. It's going to cost you the same to have a NOLO tracker or a three, of, a three degrees of freedom headset, which is basically a viewing headset. So you might as well just get yourself a really good headset to begin with and forget the NOLO tracking. Don't buy stuff like the Alpara. Uh, this headset here, let me just show you very quickly. Uh, our para VR headset, this one. Don't buy this headset. Let me just see if they have a trailer. Uh, let, let's just go here. There we go. Is there an ad that I have to wait for first? No, I don't, okay. Um, don't buy this thing, you know. I mean, it's a, it's a great piece of gear. It looks pretty good. I, we haven't had it on the channel, so I can't tell you whether it's good or not. But I'll tell you right away that you need a NOLO headset. Therefore, don't buy this headset. Wait until this headset has its own internal tracking or it has a different kind of tracking system because the NOLO stuff is difficult to set up. The tracking is not good. There are wires all over the place when you need to use the NOLO tracker. It's just a piece of crap. It is not up to par in terms of today's technology. You just don't want to buy the NOLO tracker full stop. So don't do this in VR. You will regret it. People have been complaining about it and then they talk badly about VR and it gives VR a bad name. So there you go, guys. These are the don't do's in VR that I believe are probably very helpful to you. And there's also some other things you should never do in VR, including don't move your head quick. Just don't do that in VR. If you're not used to virtual reality and you haven't been in VR before, don't do this. When you go into VR for the very first time, especially, or the first few times, and you don't have motion sickness, then make sure you move your head 
just very slowly, just calmly, just quietly, just absorb everything. Don't go like that. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's very bad. You'll get motion sickness. And you could also get injury because your neck muscles, you need to build the neck muscles. These things are, I wouldn't say they're heavy, but they're 400, 500 grams. This is half a kilo on your head, all right? You need to understand that it, 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 it can, you need to build some neck muscles before you, you, you start going, ah, oh, or like that. And then the other thing, another bonus that you shouldn't do in VR, leave a comment, let me know what you think in the comments below about what I'm about to say, because it could be a shocker. Don't buy apps in VR. Don't spend any money when you're in VR for the first time. And let me tell you why. First of all, it will give an opportunity to all the other developers who've been trying to create apps to, to, for people to see, to get an opportunity for them to be experienced by people because a lot of people think free apps are crap. They're not. There are tons of really, really, really good apps and I'll do a separate video. Do hit the likes and if we do more than 20 likes, I'll do a follow-up video on this. There are tons of free games in virtual reality that I believe are awesome that haven't been talked about on other YouTube channels recently or for a long time that you will have equally just a really good time. You don't need to spend money in VR when you first buy a VR headset. So don't do that. Don't buy, don't spend your money. And then the other thing is, also, a lot of the free VR apps don't require very complicated controller things. They're very simple apps. They'll get you into VR. You'll, you'll build your neck muscles. You'll get your brain. You'll be more used to it. So you won't be, you won't fall prey to motion sickness as much as perhaps other people who are a bit more sensitive to it. So you allow yourself to give yourself time to experience VR in a really cool way, very easy way with really awesome environments and really awesome VR experiences without having to spend the penny. And then once once you're ready, once you've had a little play around experimentation, then poof, splash all your cash, buy all the latest apps you want, and then just have as fun as, as you want. That's my advice anyway. These are the don't do's in virtual reality. Please put in the comments below any other don't do this in VR. If I didn't talk about it today, I'd love to know what you guys think about all this kind of stuff. And you know, we can have a conversation. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Let's go to the YouTube channel and just welcome some of you because I freaking love you guys. And you guys are super awesome. So it's time to give back a little bit to you. All right, let's go to YouTube studio. There we go. And guys, do make sure that, do remember that we are doing a giveaway with VR Cover where you can go and get all the, you can go and choose all the products on the website up to 19, uh, 29 US dollars and 29 euros. Link in the description below. And then of course, uh, let me just click on here. See all latest subscribers and then by date. Here we go. And make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So I'd like to welcome Slan AC, Deanna Thomas, Miguel Sandova, Alan Harbour, Chris Slusher, David Pierce, Nana S, Jacob Sullivan Jones, Second Channel, Tisha Saris, and Snap Photography. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are frigging, frigging awesome, as I keep saying. Uh, let me just transition over again because it seems that. Uh, you didn't get to see the names, so Stan AC, Deanna Thomas, Miguel Sandoval, uh, Alan Harbour, Chris Slusher, David Pierce, Nana S, Jacob Sullivan Jones, Second Channel, and Trisha Saris, and iSnap Photography. Guys, as I mentioned, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the channel. You guys rock. It's that simple. And do remember that we are giving away again. We're going to do the announcement upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers to the channel. So do make sure you reshare this video on your LinkedIn, on your Reddit, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on all your social media. So we get there as fast as possible in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers. This is going to be given away to one of you lucky guys. Someone else is going to win a pair of cyber shoes. Another person is going to win up to $50 voucher for your Meta or SteamVR or Viveport uh, store. And someone else will win other keys. So four winners, um, you know, all come in being announced upon 9,000 subscribers. So please reshare the video as much as you possibly can. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video probably tomorrow and in the comments below as well. Bye for now.